Before this video starts, I just wanted to remind you guys that I still have two poppy slices that have never been sold. So if you're interested of getting these poppy slices, um, go on eBay. The link will be in the description below. <laughs> Hello guys, this is me, Ethan Strachan, and today on EBS Supernatural, I'm back with another video for you guys. So today in this episode on, on how to build a ventriloquist dummy, um, I'm going to show you guys uh, different type of uh, mechanisms while building while building your own ventriloquist dummy. Um, thank goodness that uh, Halloween is over, so, so I can do more ventriloquist dummy videos now and november is is like a new fresh start since halloween is over and all sorts so yeah so today um so today in this episode on how to build a ventriloquist dummy i am going to show you guys the different type of uh mechanisms on how to make on how to make a ventriloquist dummy um i do have a few uh ventriloquist dummies with different type of mechanisms but but fingers crossed hopefully i'll explain to you guys on what type of mechanism is the right type of mechanism and i hope this video will help you guys so today in this in this episode on how to build ventriloquist dummy i am going to show you i'm going to show you the different type of mechanisms and the and the mechanics so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the first one that I wanted to that I wanted to explain to you about is a lot of you guys, well, a lot of you guys were asking me about on how I did the uh the winkers and blinkers and up lip sneer. Um so I I have a, a ventriloquist dummy uh that has an upper lip sneer and winkers and blinkers and that is my and that is uh Millie, my Millie Bob Brown inspired ventriloquist dummy. Um, and as you can tell with the, uh, style, um, like I said in the past, um, my Millie Boy Brown inspired ventriloquist dummy is actually based on, is actually, her style is based on the, uh, the, uh, Len Insole style. Um, as you can see with the, uh, leather, with the leather jaw and the leather up lip and the leather winkers and all sorts. And... And I, as you, as 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 you can tell, guys, uh, Len Insel is famous for using leather for his mouths, just to make uh, his characters more realistic. So I'll show you um, enough talking. So I'm going to show you the uh, the uh, mechanisms. Uh, if I just going to take off the uh, back piece, and the head is open. So here is the uh, here's the mechanism for the winkers. So basically, um, you have it's kind of difficult to see. So you can see there, there is a little piece there that goes that moves all the way up like this, and that is for the uh, the winkers. Um, as you can see over there, this is the uh, you see that thing that's moving over there that is the mechanism for the winkers and there's a string there's a spring attached to it and a string attached to there and then it goes all to, over there and then and then it goes and then when that when that gets pulled that lifts up the uh this lever over there and i'll show you uh on how it operates so if i can see that so it's basically a simple uh, mechanism and it moves very smooth. Um, it moves very interestingly because um, you can see that moving. Here's the uh, other one. And as you can see, the, uh, the springs are attached to this bit with the... Uh, where this little bench here and it's attached with wire and all that stuff and it's a very simple mechanism um it's all done by uh by using 
uh, string and wires and springs and all that stuff. And it's very well put together. And I've done a lot of hard work on figuring out the uh, basic uh, mechanisms. So uh, here is, um, I just thought I'll show you some uh, pictures on, on Google. Um, so here is the uh, picture, here's a picture of a inside of a Leninsel ventriloquist dummy head. And it's a very interesting thing to look at. Um, if you're not familiar with, uh, with, uh, Leninsel figures, um, Leninsel figures are very, very interesting, uh, ventriloquist figures that are made by Leninsel. Um, they're very well put together. So basically, um, so basically the most, sometimes, um, sometimes with, with other ventriloquist dummies, sometimes they're, sometimes, uh, Winkers and blinkers and upper lip sneers and moving mouths. They're all done. They're all done by. Uh, sometimes they're all done by, uh, by shells like, uh, like, just like this one. Um, this one is done by a slot draw type of thing. Uh, it's done by uh, slots with a shell piece. Like, it's very interesting. Um, so basically, with this uh, McElroy uh, ventriloquist dummy, um, the upper lip is done by a, uh, by a, a slot, uh, upper lip sneer shell, so, um, so it's basically like a, a slot upper lip, not, rather than a, a leather one, um, and, uh, here's the, uh, Leninsel one, so this one is done, so this is, this is done by, by leather, as you can see, as uh, a very basic, um, basic type of thing. So basically, it's a, it's a piece of wire that's covered with uh, leather, and you get this effect with the, uh, with the leather. It's very interesting actually because I am very familiar with uh, different type of style ventriloquist dummies. Uh, with uh, ventriloquist dummy makers, they're actually. Well, they they have different styles, obviously, which is pretty interesting. It's it's very realistic because um so with my ventriloquist dummy that has the upper up lip sneer, it's all done by leather. If I can find the uh, if I can find the uh, trigger that does the upper lip, there we go. See that. And that is basically done inside the, uh, that's basically done in the inside of the, the head. It's basically a piece of wire and it's attached with a spring. You can see that moving. When that gets pulled down, it causes the, it causes the upper lip to, it causes the upper lip to move upwards. It's a, it's basically a very simple mechanism because, um, I think, um, I think it is very easy to, uh, to make, especially when you're choosing a Len Insel style for even chokers. I mean, it's, um, it kind of, well, the upper lip is kind of interesting. I think, uh, I think upper lip sneers are very popular for other ventral dummies, like the, uh, just like the, uh, other ventral dummies that are made by famous ventriloquist dummy makers and all that stuff um so yeah so that's the uh the uh winkers and blinkers and they're basically uh covered with uh leather just to give them a very realistic look anyway so that's the uh so that's the uh leather winkers Right, so I'm going to, um, so this next one is going to be the side-to-side uh, -side eyes and the wiggling ears. So this is, um, this is, uh, Eileen, uh, my, uh, proper female ventriloquist dummy, 
with the proper mechanisms and all that stuff. So I'll lift this wig up so we, so you can see the uh, mechanisms. So here's the uh, the mechanisms. I know they look kind of a bit different uh, from last time that I showed you guys. Um, so the side to side eyes are actually done with a brass mechanism and basically it's like a simple mechanism so basically it's like a, a wire bar thing and it's attached to a eye mechanism with two springs and when you when you when you do that it makes the eyes move it's a very basic uh simple mechanism over there it's very well put together and the wiggling ears are basically a simple mechanism you have a you have two ears that are attached with a, a spring and there's one over there and they're attached with a wire and it's drilled over there and it goes like that and it goes to the other ear and in here is the little pulley and when you pull the uh, trigger it causes the ears to wiggle a little bit this one is moving easily but for that one it's just a bit well you guessed it so yeah so um that's um so that's the eye mechanism and the uh wiggle ear mechanism and also i i do have a another ventriloquist dummy that has a different type of mechanism for uh moving moving eyes um this is 11 my uh ventriloquist dummy that's based off the character from stranger things her mechanism uh like i did say in the past her mechanism is basically well it's a simple mechanism um it's basically it's basically done by string and when you when you move this uh lever it makes the eyes go side to side it's basically a simple mechanism and it's it, it moves very easily um also while while you're making your uh your ventriloquist stomach mechanisms make sure um make sure to uh use proper um glue if you're using like hot glue sometimes it can be a pain in the neck when they fall apart just tr try your best to uh, make sure. Try your best to make sure that the uh, that the mechanism is nice and secure, so it won't go anywhere. So it's just basically a simple thing. While you're putting your ventriloquist dummy together, you just have to figure it out, or look up some images on Google, or just look up any tutorial on how to make a ventriloquist dummy. So I'll show you the uh, the next one. Here's the, uh, here's the next one. Uh, so this is um, Arlene, uh, my transgender uh, ventriloquist dummy. Um, she has a very simple mechanism for a stick out tongue. Um, here's the, uh, the eyebrow mechanism if you're wondering. Um, so with the stick out tongue, it's basically a simple mechanism. Um, it's basically a mechanism where it goes forward like this and it's attached with a spring and when you open the mouth oh, when you open the mouth and then when that see that so basically it's a simple mechanism and basically it's all done with a um you can see the string that's attached to the mechanism And the eyebrows are actually, um, is the mechanism for the eyebrows. So yeah, so that's, I think that's all the, uh, mechanisms for the, uh, ventriloquist dummies. Um, I know it's quite hard to explain, but I'm pretty sure you guys will understand um, the uh, whole um, mechanisms. 
So I hope this video will help you guys. Um, if you have any questions or answers, please let me know in the comments below. Really appreciate it. Um, so that's it for today's video. Um, if you want me to do uh, more videos, then I can always do updates and all sorts. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this uh, video. Um, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, or if you want to be part of my YouTube channel, then please subscribe to me. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you later, guys. And also, if you want me to, if you want me to explain more about different type of mechanisms for for ventricular stummies, uh, please let me know, and I'll do an update video about it. So I'll see you guys later on. Take care. Goodbye.